come today to worship and adore the King of Glory. The King of Glory. Blessing be the Lord my rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord my rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle and I will see On my harp of ten strings I will sing a new song And play upon my guitar I will sing to you a new song Blessed be Yahweh Blessed be the Lord my rock You train my hands for Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, and my fingers for battle, and I will sing a new song to you, the Lord my rock, I will sing a new song to you, Lord, ah, ah, ah. and I will sing a new song to you. My heart, deep in my heart, I will sing, yeah, yeah, and I will sing a new song to the Lord, my rock. You train my hands for war, yeah, yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. presence, Lord. We got battles in everyday life, and this is how I fight my battles in your presence, with your presence, Lord, and through the power of your presence. Think of this. Think of this. In your presence, with your presence. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trained my hands for war, yeah, and my fingers for battle. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, yeah, yeah. taking it up, yeah. Blessed be my rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle <laughs> Woo! yeah blessed be the lord my rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers sing that again lift it up now blessed be the lord my rock who trains my hands for war, yeah, and my fingers for battle, Lord, yeah. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, and my fingers for battle. And this is what I'll do. I'll sing a new song to you, Lord, on the harp of ten strings. My 
guitar, my piano, Lord, I will sing, yeah, I am singing a new song to you, Lord, on my harp of ten strings, my guitar, and my piano, yeah, I will sing to you a new song, oh, Lord, I'm singing out a new song on my harp of ten strings, on my guitar, and Piano, Lord, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Spirit of the living God, yeah. In my new song, Lord. My new song from deep in my heart for your glory, Lord. For your glory, for your glory, yeah. I'm singing a new song, oh Lord, yeah, for your glory, for your glory. Blessed be the Lord my rock. A psalm of David, David, the worshiping king warrior. The worshiping warrior king. Man, he penned this 3,300 years ago. We still are looking at it today in its own power. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and by the way, my fingers for battle. I feel like what's coming through the end of the year, we're going to know how to use His presence. We have to know that worship is a weapon. Our weapons are praise and thanksgiving and deep worship and adoration because we will get through the storms. We'll get through the storms, my God. If we know the power of of his presence in and with and through the power of his presence we overcome in every battle every circumstance every situation thank you lord by the power and the glory in and through and with your presence yeah blessed be you train my hands for war. Yeah, yeah. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. You train my hands for war. Yeah, yeah. Blessed be. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, and my fingers for battle, and my fingers for battle, and my, take everything you know in the natural, and move it over into the spirit realm, how to wield the sword. Some of those bad boys were 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds. But we're going to know how to wield his presence in the spirit. We don't have to train for months at a time and get our forearms and our biceps and our shoulder muscles. Because he said, I am your God. I'm the biggest weapon you'll ever have. My presence, the person, the presence of the person of the Lord Jesus. Think of this, you guys. person and the presence so this is how I fight my battles 
this is how I get through my day. It's in and with and through his presence. The power in, with, and through your presence, Lord. That brought a, brought a special song today. When I first heard it, I went, wow, wow. In the presence, talking about preparing for battle, the power of his presence in his person. presence of your infinite might, limitless might. I'm so small and frail, so weak. In the presence of your infinite might, I'm so small and frail.
majestic is your name. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy God, how majestic is your reign. I am changed in the presence. for 
worship you right here, right now, for all that you've done, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. We worship you, yeah. For all you do, yeah, yeah, yeah. We worship you for all you've done. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Before we go to Psalm 144, He trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. We give you thanks, Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. My fingers for battle. Train my hands for war and my fingers for yeah. Well, blessed be the Lord God, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war. Something about it in the Holy Spirit in this moment. He says, you got to tell my people, use my presence to fight your battles. Worship is a weapon. Praise and thanksgiving are weapons. It's in your worship. But when you worship me, and that's why this stuck out to me today. Just a couple of days ago, we did this is how I fight my battles. Maybe we'll do it one more day. Nehemiah is coming, but the Lord said they got to know everybody needs to revisit this right here, right now. Revisit the fact that I've given you skills to do battle, especially in the spirit realm, not talking about the natural realm. There's all sorts of martial arts and taekwondo and all that. I mean, people, but this is in the spirit now that we fight with worship and prayer. We plow the hardest field and the crops will come in in Jesus' name. So Carla's going to read us in. If you open your Bibles to Psalm 144, we start into the reading we want to do a little warfare on behalf of some of our people I know Dawn needs to be healed delivered from COVID and have extra strength she's been uh, really weak lately uh, Avon needs a complete miracle if there's anybody else out there we speak healing in the name of Jesus yeah David and Margaret Cloy which we never prayed for last night Dave just broke his toe, and there's some other medical things that need to be touched, so we release your healing rain, Lord. We release your healing rain big time in Jesus' name. Send your word to the, all these afflicted bodies. Say, be healed in the name of Jesus. Psalm 144. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war. God. Keynote scriptures here, verses 1 and 2. 9 and 15. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. My loving kindness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield and the one in whom I take refuge. I will sing a new song to you, O Lord, on a harp of ten strings. I will sing praises to you Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Starting in verse 1. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Praise be to the Lord, my rock. He teaches my hands how to war and my fingers the art of fighting. Praise and thanks be the Lord, my rock. Yes, praise and thanksgiving to him. Blessed be the eternal, my rock. He prepares my hands for war. He gives me the skills I need for battle, the skills I need for warfare. There is only one strong, safe, and secure place for me. It's in God alone, and I love him. He's the one who gives me strength and skill for the battle. You give me the skills I need, Lord. You give 
give me the skills I need for the battle and for warfare. You give me the skills that I need. You give me the skills that I need, Lord, for battle and for warfare. Yeah. And this is the easy to read version in the Christian stand. Standard Bible says, you give me the skills I need, yeah, yeah, for the battle and for warfare. You give me the skills I need, yeah, you give me the skills I need for battle and for warfare. And this is what it says, verse 1, bless you. My rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Yeah. Praise to the Lord, my rock. Praise to the Lord, my rock. He teaches my hands how to war and my, my fingers the art of fighting. Yeah. I can't believe it said it right there. My fingers, you teach us the art of fighting in the spirit. Then it says, praise and thanks be to the Lord, my rock. Praise and thanks be to you. Praise and thanks be to the Lord, my rock. Praise and thanks be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for skills I need. You give me the skills I need. Praise and thanksgiving be to the Lord my rock who trains my hands for work. Praise and thanks be to the Lord my rock. Uh -uh. He didn't leave us alone, you guys. He said, oh no, I know what you're going to be up against. That's why Jesus, in every way, he was tempted when he came to the earth the second Adam. He said, I got this. I'm going to walk through the same things you walk through in the power of the Holy Spirit and overcome it. And you can do the same thing. Verse 2, my goodness, my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer, my shield, and the one in whom I take refuge. It's six things, isn't it? Number one, my goodness. Number two, my fortress. Number three, my high tower. And number four is my deliverer. Number five, my shield. And the one in whom I take refuge is number six. Let's do them all now. Can you believe one tiny verse? Verse 2 of Psalm 144 starts, my goodness, number one. Number two, you're my fortress. I love it. Number three, you're my high tower. And then you're my deliverer. And my shield, number five. And the one who gives me strength and skill for battle. So I take refuge in you, Lord. take refuge, my shield and the one in whom I take refuge, yeah. my goodness number one, my fortress number two, yeah, yeah. my high tower, my deliverer, oh God, you're my shield, the one in whom I take refuge, come on, get him, my goodness two, my fortress, and three, my high tower, and four, my deliverer, and number five, you're my shield, and then number six, you're my refuge. I love it now. Come on, let's sing them all. Sing, all sing. Oh, my goodness, my fortress, 
my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, my refuge, my goodness, my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, you are my shield, you are my refuge, you are my shield. And he continues by saying, he subdues the people under me for his purpose and for his vision. The new living says, loving ally, my fortress, my tower of safety, my rescuer, my shield, and my refuge. I love it. Very similar. But I love this, this phrase in the New Living. He is my loving ally. I, I don't know if I ever had one. Well, Carla has been a loving ally, my children. But I mean, in my previous days, I, I don't know that I ever had. Somebody might have been doing that. A coach, a teacher, a principal somewhere. But isn't it beautiful? It goes on in the voice says, he's my unfailing love and my citadel. C-I-T-A-D-E-L. He's my citadel. My core. Fortified center. Oh, my God. I love these. These help us understand. He's my core. Fortified center. My God. He's my tower of strength and my deliverer. He's the shield of my protection and my shelter. Wow. He holds my people in check under me. Then it says in the Passion, he's my shelter of love, my fortress of faith. He wraps himself around me as a secure shield. Okay, I'm taking that one personally. <laughs> he wraps himself around me as a secure shield, the bedrock on which I stand, the castle in which I live, my rescuing night. I hide myself in you, oh, the bedrock on which I stand, the castle in which I live, my rescuing night. I hide myself in you, the bedrock on which I stand, the castle in which I live, my rescuing night. I hide myself in this one. You're the bedroom, bedrock on which I stand, the castle in which I live, my Rescuing night, my rescuing night. Oh God, the night in shining armor. That's Jesus. Is that the Three Musketeers or Lord of the Rings? This is. Check them all again. The passion, the message said. A shelter of love. A fortress of faith. You wrap yourself around me like a secure shield, and there it is. And there it is, and it's on the bedrock on which I stand, the castle in which I live. You are my rescuing night. You are my rescuing night. I hide myself in you. Yeah. Remember, we're getting this for battle. The next couple months through Thanksgiving and Christmas, the Lord's preparing us. We're going to fight our battles in, with, and through your presence, Lord. Yeah, we will not be denied in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We will not be denied in the name. Carla, verse 3 and 4. Lord, what is man that you take notice of him? Or mere mortals that you are mindful of them? You take wow. account of them? Why do you bother with us at all? Oh, Lord. What is man that you think of him, that you even care to know him? The son of man that you remember him? 
Lord, what is it about us that you would even notice us? Why would you even bother with us? Man is like a breath, a puff of wind. His days are like a passing shadow. All we are is a puff of air. We're like shadows in a campfire. Humans are like a passing breath. Their time on earth is like a shadow that passes over us during the day and soon is gone. For man is nothing but a faint whisper, wow. a mere breath. His life is like a shade which is quickly gone. Wow. Thanks that you care for us, Lord. Thanks. We're just a puff of wind. <laughs> creatures in Christ to do his work in his service. Five and six, open the heavens, Lord. We ask you today, open the heavens over America, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so they billow smoke. Lower the cloud ceiling, Lord. Step down out of heaven. Ignite the volcanoes in the hearts of the mountains. Eternal one, stretch out an opening in the heavens and descend. Touch the mountains, step down from heaven, Lord, and come down. Make the mountains melt at your touch. And then verse 6, flash forth lightning and disperse them. You shoot out your thunderbolts and rout the enemy. Hurl your lightning bolts and scatter your enemies. Shoot your arrows and confuse them, Lord. This one right here, the Wycliffe translation, the really Owen says, Light your shining and you will scatter them, Lord. You light your shining. It says, Send forth your lightning and scatter your enemies. Send thou out thine arrows, and you will trouble them. Loose your fiery lightning flashes and scatter enemies, Lord. Overthrow them with your terrifying judgments. The passion said, go ahead and loose your fiery lightning flashes and scatter your enemies and overthrow them with your terrifying judgments. Shoot out your thunderbolts, yeah. I gotta sing it well. Well, light your shining, light your shining, and scatter all your enemies. Oh, Lord, light your shining. You release your light and your lightning and your thunderbolts. Let the nations know the fear of the Lord. The terror of our God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You light your shining, and light is going forth to turn the hearts of the wicked. Turn the hearts of the evil. Turn the hearts of those that think they're really good, Lord, that they might be born again, they might be saved and know you. They will be saved and spirit-filled and know you. So loose your fiery lightning flashes. Scatter your enemies and overthrow them with your judgments, Lord. Verse 7 and 8. Reach down from heaven and rescue me. Rescue me from deep waters, wow. from the power of my enemies. Reach all the way from sky to sea. Pull me out of the ocean of hate, out of the grip of those barbarians. Put out your hand from above. Take me out of trouble and away from the many waters, from the power of those from other lands. Reach down from your heavens and rescue me from this hell and deliver me from these dark powers whose mouth my enemies speaks empty words. They speak worthless, lying words, and they swear to tell the truth, but they lie instead. 
who speaks only lies and don't have truth in their deeds. They speak nothing but lies. Their words are pure deceit. Nothing they say can ever be trusted. In the Passion Bible on 7, this is what he did in the Lord Jesus Christ. Abba, Heavenly Father. We're going to thank him for it right here. Oh, you reached down from your heavens, you sent the Son. You rescued me from hell and delivered me from the powers of darkness. The powers of darkness, Lord. You reached down from your heavens and you sent Jesus, your Son. You rescued me from hell, Lord. You delivered delivered me from dark powers, the powers of darkness, yeah, yeah. You reached down from the heavens, your heavens, and sent your son, Lord. He rescued me from hell and delivered me from the powers of somebody say yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You reached down from your heavens by sending your son, you rescued me from hell and delivered me from darkness, from dark powers and the powers of darkness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord, for Psalm 144. It's brilliant. It's powerful. It's touching our hearts in so many ways. Verse 9. I will sing a new song. I will sing a new song to you. Oh, my God. Huh? I will sing a new song to you. Oh, my God. And on a harp of ten strings, I'll sing praise. And I'm doing it right now. I'm making music to the Lord. Yes, I'm having joy in making. I get to make music unto the Lord with this tiny little gift. I guess it's pretty big, actually. To you, my God, I will sing a new song. I sing out your sweet praises to the sound of my ten-string heart. What are you doing, Ken? I'm singing out your sweet praises, Lord. We are singing out your sweet praises. We are singing out your sweet praises to the sound of our 10 string harp. Well, I got 88 keys, 88 notes. Yeah, yeah. Do it again, yeah. We're singing your sweet praises, Lord, to you. We're singing out your sweet praises. To the sound of our ten string harp. Are you singing out? I, I, we're all singing out sweet praises. We are singing out your sweet praises. We are singing out your sweet praises. The Amplified in the Darby said, I offer praises to you, Lord. I have a 10 string lute that is my small little guitar and I sing psalms to thee. I am singing my psalms. We're doing it right here today. A couple thousand years after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't it awesome? We're still singing the psalms. Was it 3,000 or 3,500 years later? And they're still ringing true. It's the word of God. My God, I will sing you a brand new song, not a leftover song, not a half-baked song, not a song from two weeks ago. My God, I will sing to you a brand new song. The harp inside my heart will make music to you. For, for you guys to say, well, Ken, I can't keep time. I don't sing very good. This is your scripture, verse 9. <laughs> My God, I'll sing to you a brand new song. And then I've got a harp inside my heart, Passion Bible. I've got a harp. And 
I'm striking the strings of my heart and I'm making music to you. I strike the strings inside my heart. What a revelation, guys, right? And I'm making music to you. I'm playing the strings of the inside part of my heart. I'm playing the strings of my heart to you. I'm making music to you by striking the strings of my heart. I'm striking the strings of my heart to you, Lord. And I'm making music every day. I am striking the strings of my heart, making music. <laughs> Steve Hudson, I guess you could call it singing. He wasn't sure what the Lord does, and he has a big tuning fork, a tuning fork, and it all sounds great to him because he looks at the heart, not just at the tonality of the voice. And it finishes, verse 10, the one who gives deliverance shows salvation to kings who delivers David, his servant, from the hurtful, deadly sword. The new living in the Rotherham says, for you, grant victory to your kings. You snatched your servant David from calamity and the fatal sword. That's for somebody out there today. He has snatched you away from calamity and from the fatal sword. from that right there. It's very difficult. <laughs> and then the passion says, I will sing of you. The one who gives victory to kings. You rescued David, your living servant, from the sword of evil. I will sing of you, Lord, the one who gives victory to kings. The one who rescued your David, your loving servant from the sword of evil. This is who you are. It's what you do. Verse 11 and 12. Save me. Rescue me from the power of my enemies. Their mouths are full of lies. They swear to tell the truth, but they lie instead. Free me and rescue me from the clutches of strangers whose mouths swear false promises while their right hand is raised in perjury. Rescue me and save me from wow. the grasp of these foreigners who speak only lies and don't have truth in their deeds. Deliver me and save me from these dark powers who speak nothing but lies. Their words are pure deceit, and you can't trust anything they say. Verse 12, may our sons flourish in their youth, flourish like well-nurtured plants. Wow. May our daughters be like graceful pillars carved to beautify a palace. Oh, God. Let our sons in their youth like plants full grown. Let our daughters be like decorated stones in the temple like corner pillars oh cut God. to adorn a palace. <laughs> Deliver us then. Deliver us. Then our homes will be happy. Our sons will grow up as strong, sturdy men, and our daughters with graceful beauty, royally fashioned as for a palace. Wow. May our sons flourish in their youth. Flourish that word. Get it in your vocabulary, you guys. Oh, our sons and daughters are flourishing in you, Lord. Oh, our sons and daughters, they're flourishing in you. Oh, 
cause our sons and daughters to flourish in you and in their youth, in their youth, they're flourishing in you, Lord. We prophesy flourishing in you, yeah. Our sons and daughters, like full-grown plants, let our daughters be like decorated stones in your temple, Lord, like the corner pillars that are cut beautifully to adorn the palace. Moving toward the end of Psalm 144, I want to see the hearts and thumbs flying if you've been enjoying this psalm. My God, every song, we got to go back to these. Holy Spirit had his way. And then 13 and 14. Our barns may be full supplying all kinds of produce that our sheep may bring forth thousands and it says you guys ten thousands in our fields <laughs> they were not horsing around that's a big number back in the day that our barns will be full supplying all kind of produce that our sheep may bring forth thousands well let's just even go ten thousands in our fields super productive and the lambs, and the lambs kept coming. You fill our barns, Lord, with a great harvest. You fill our fields with huge flocks. You fill our barns with a great harvest. You fill our fields with huge flocks. May our storehouse be full with abundant supplies of every crop. Man, I love it. And may the flocks of our fields multiply into thousands, in the ten thousands. The passion says, our barns will be filled to the brim, overflowing with the fruits of the harvest. Our barns will be filled to the brim, overflowing with the fruits of our harvest. Our fields will be full of sheep and cattle, the passion says too many to count. Woo! Our livestock will not miscarry their young. Ooh, this is, this is a promise that I have. Our enemies will not invade our land, and there'll be no breach in our walls, Lord. That our oxen may be strong to labor, that there will be no enemy breaking through our walls, not going into captivity. Somebody say amen. There'll be no cries of alarm in our town squares. I want to see that somewhere in every nation. In my city, there's usually people being shot and injured and killed almost every night in downtown St. Louis. Wouldn't this be awesome to see the church rise up, people rise up. It's, gonna, it's real. Because he said there's a state of a place of the enemy can't break through our walls, not going into captivity. There'll be no cries of alarm in our town squares. That would be a miracle. And there's 14 out of the message. Just protect us from invasion and exile. Eliminate the crime on our streets. Wow, you're talking about a prayer for intercession for a city. And Carla finishes the blessed psalm Happy, blessed are the people who are in such a state. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. How blessed the people who have all this. Blessed is the people whose God is the Lord. How blessed and favored are the people in such circumstance. How blessed, prosperous are the people whose God is the Lord. Happy are the people wow. for whom all is true. Happy are the people whose God is the eternal. And the passion says, what bliss we experience when these blessings fall. People who love and serve our God will be happy indeed. And I'm going to sing it blessed. I don't care for the word happy personally. 
because in English today it means happenstance, but how blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. We'll sing it over America. Hey, uh, how blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. God is the Lord. How blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. God is the Lord. How blessed are the people whose God, whose God is the Lord. They're prospering on every side. They're prospering on every side because they're the people whose God is the Lord. They're prospering on every side. They are prospering on every side for their God is the uh, How blessed are the people whose God is the Lord, whose God is the Lord, yeah. How blessed are the, and that's us, whose God is the Lord, whose God is the Lord, yeah. How blessed are the, it's hard to count, how blessed the people who have made the God their Lord, yeah. They will be blessed on every side. The people whose God is the Lord, they'll be blessed on every side. The Amplifier says, they're blessed and highly favored. And it goes on to say, they're very prosperous. Let's sing all of that. Yeah. How blessed and highly favored are the people whose God is the Lord. How blessed and prosperous are the people whose God is the Lord. How highly favored are the people whose God, God is the Lord. And how blessed and prosperous are the people whose God is the Lord. Highly favored and prosperous are the people whose God is the Lord. Come on. Yeah, we're blessed and highly favored. We're blessed and highly favored. Those who've taken the living God as their Lord. How blessed and highly favored. How blessed and prosperous are the people who God is the Lord. Ah, this is the word. See, I'm blessed and highly favored because I took Jesus as my God and my Lord, my Savior. Blessed and highly favored are the people whose God is the Lord. Blessed and very prosperous. Blessed and very prosperous are the people who made God is their Lord. <laughs> Do it again. Blessed and highly favored. Blessed and highly favored are the people whose God is the Lord. Whose God is the Lord. Blessed and very prosperous are the people whose God is the Lord. I said the living God is the Lord. Yeah, yeah. That's right, Sylvia. We're just little bitty powerful puffs in the Lord. <laughs> We're here for a short time in these bodies, 80 or 90 years, if by reason, by strength. We're not all that, but he's all that. That's why I love these streams, how very powerful. Psalm 44, one more time, verse 1. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Blessed be the Lord my rock, 
trains, my hands for war, and my fingers for battle. Come on, sing it out. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Trains my hands for war, yeah. and my fingers became full circle. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Somehow this is going to come into play. I, I believe it'll, it'll go all the way through next March or May that somehow for a week or so, we said, this is how I fight my battles. You're going to fight your battles by using in, with, and through his presence. Wow, it's something the Lord is saying to carry us through the end of this year, two months, and then into 2022. We say, yes, Abba, Father. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Wow, what a great psalm. Well, we love you guys. Thanks for praying for us. Partners, partners, partners. We couldn't do this without people partnering with us. Uh, no ministry stands alone. We stand in the Lord. But man, we appreciate uh, what you do in prayer, and then also your giving. I mean, through the months, it's continued. Last summer, people went back to work, and, you know, giving falls, but then, you know, it starts picking up again. So we're very grateful for those that are giving. Uh, we're, we're, I'm not above. I mean, if you can't say thanks for that, I don't know what you're doing. But these live streams have their own anointing and power on them, uh, and it just keeps going on and on. I'm very grateful for his anointing, 1 John 2, 20 and 27, we all have received an anointing that we need that no man teach us. For this anointing, the power of his Holy Spirit will teach us all things. And that's how I lead worship. I lead worship by the power of his presence in this anointing. It's, it's very cool. And I give thanks to the Lord for it. So I appreciate you guys partnering. And uh, as Matt says, please do thumbs up and subscribe with the notifications. Uh, if you can get it out to friends and let them know, it's all good. And I will see most of you on Monday. We'll see what the Holy Spirit does. All right, God bless you guys. Woo!